safety off the gun and I actually fired at him. The only reason I didn't shoot him is because it wasn't a bullet in the chamber. Hi, I'm Dewan Thomas, and this is an exclusive story with Paducah News. I'm here with Miss Gracie Wilkins, whose video of her being robbed here in Paducah recently went viral throughout the entire United States. And I'm here to bring you her side of the story and what really happened from her perspective. So thank you so much for coming on, Miss Wilkins. Um, so my first question for you is, can you walk me through it from what you do remember from where this entire thing began before we even saw it on the security footage? It was one of those busy days. I had uh, two of us in. Um, hotel was full. I think I had maybe two rooms left to sell. Um, it was at the time of night when everybody's finally going to bed. Phone stopped ringing for the want to have, got to have. Um, I was making key cards, uh, sitting uh, to the side of the front desk. Um, when you work in a place of business, you are accustomed to hearing certain sounds. So when I heard my uh, front doors open, I um, rose and went to the desk and he pointed a gun at me and told me to give him all the money and uh, it just kind of escalated. At first he said he didn't want to kill me and then, you know, when he, when he came over that counter, just, I can't even put into words how scared I was when he came over the counter. What was going through your head as this was unfolding in front of you? I'm gonna die tonight for a measly amount of money in a drawer. I mean, you just, someone points a gun at you, you know, I don't care what anybody has said to me on Facebook or inboxing me that they would have done, no, you wouldn't. You don't know what you would do until you have a nine millimeter in your face. How did you build up that courage and that bravery to tell him to go back around the counter? Like, what, what, where'd you get that courage from to do that? Unfortunately, it was actually from watching too many crime shows on TV. I just didn't want to be, I didn't want him to be behind me. I, I, honestly, I just didn't want to be shot in the back and be paralyzed or, you know, just, I just didn't want him behind me. Honestly, I just, you know, you hear, you know, most crime shows you watch somebody gets hit in the back of the head, they're unconscious, things happen that they don't, that they're not aware of. And that was like, I just don't want, I just didn't want him behind me. It just really unnerved me that he was, you know, standing that close to me. So I put my back against the wall, just, just blind protection, I guess. Mm -hmm. So what led you to grabbing the gun? Like what, what made you think to do that? It was not an act of heroism or whatever they call it. I'm not the hero. It was the fact that the only thing in my mind was, he's got the money now, he's going to kill me. Some people may say if they were in that situation, like, oh, why didn't you shoot him or anything like that? So why didn't you pull the trigger on the gun? I actually did. I popped the safety off the gun and I actually fired at him. The only reason I didn't shoot him is because it wasn't a bullet in the chamber. Wow. And that's just the honest guy's truth. So, you, like you said, you haven't watched the video or anything like that, but how does it feel knowing that what you did is basically gone viral throughout the entire United States and been on several different news agencies, even on live PD? So how does that feel for you? It's surreal that something life-threatening that has changed me, you know, it's, it's, un, it's just unreal. It is, it's unreal. You know, that people will take an incident like this and blow it up and blow it up and out so huge and, but, the good in the world doesn't doesn't get that, right. and it just it's just surreal that you know I've been I've actually been contacted by a few people, but um, just the negative it, it's been a negative effect for me. Mm -hmm. I don't care how positive people think it is or what it does for other people's morale. It was not positive. So, is there anything that you would like? 
the people in the community to know and anybody that have seen this story? Is there anything you'd like for them to know or say to them? I honestly believe that we go through circumstances and issues in our life to help somebody else. I personally don't like whoever this is I'm supposed to help, but I want that person to know that when the time comes, I'll be there. I will understand all of your frustration and anger and hurt and um, that little piece of you that's missing that you're trying to put back. I will understand that feeling. Um, and I would like to tell all the night clerks who work the evening shift, be hyper vigilant. Um, they told me that he was standing outside out of camera's view, which means he has been in the hotel and he's seen the camera system that we have. So he was aware of where the cameras were outside because um, where I sit, where we all sit when we're not busy is we can see the cameras. So he was not in camera range and he was aware of that. Just be diligent in your position because your safety is yours and it's your responsibility for a part. Um, but just be careful out there. This world is changing rapidly. Well, I thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story. Um, I can understand how it may feel, you know, with all of this coming down on you, then the whole situation. So thank you so much for sharing, and I'm glad that you made it out of there. Okay, you know, you had angels watching over you. My angels is working overtime. <laughs> <laughs>